Ah, you confident guys. Couldn't wait to do paper two. You have finished it and you've come for the discussion. Of course, you've also seen the first 14 questions discussed, so no introductions needed. Off to question 15. Susan conducted an experiment. She placed a wooden block on a flat surface made of material X. So you know what she did, right? She pushed the box or the wooden block towards the right. Okay, what is this material X? Is it wrongly labeled or is it referring to the surface? It's referring to the surface, right? So you got a wooden block and it's rubbing against material X. If material X was smooth, then you will find that Susan will find it easier to push this box a further distance. So that's why there's going to be data on the material X as well. Okay, none. Okay, item added to the material X. Then there's something added A and then something else added B. And then if she found it easier to push on B, then if there was nothing on it, but when there was A, she found it more difficult. So the box could not move further. It only moved till 5 cm. So this is difficult. This is easy. This is normal. Okay. Right. So based on her result, what could item A and B be? Okay, so you have made her job easy for B. So B must be something that reduces friction, not sand grains and sandpaper, which makes it difficult. A must be, it made it difficult. So these two are answers. Water can make it easy also, right? So maybe it's wrong because you wanted to make it difficult. So the only two circles is for B. Ta -da 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 -da. Okay, easy. Shadow time, you got an object, you got a screen, and the front view of the object, of the shadow of the object. And what should John do to make the shadow on the screen smaller? Objective, make it smaller. So you have a light source, you have object, you have screen. Whenever this distance is smaller, okay smaller your shadow is larger okay so the opposite here will happen when this is smaller mean then here will become bigger because at the same time when you make this distance smaller this will become bigger or longer or shorter okay should i use the word smaller bigger for this please forgive me i use smaller and bigger already let me continue but you should use shorter and longer if possible the distance because you're talking about the distance between the light the object and the screen okay the light will be usually a torch okay now shadow is bigger too because don't be confused when you make this distance shorter you are making this longer at the same time so the effect is still the same the shadow is larger okay got it so this is what you need to know as a concept now our friend john wants to make the shadow smaller shadow not bigger here you are making it bigger right hmm shadow smaller so you got to do opposite so here should be longer so let's go and write here here should be shorter for big uh, small shadows so that's basically it so for small shadows you look at this side for big shadows you look at this side so now what does he want small shadows so you got to make this distance longer or make this distance shorter see if we can find those in a b c d or not move the torch nearer to the object Remember, to do this, he needs to move nearer to the object. Move the torch nearer to the object or longer. So move the torch away from the object. So this is A is wrong because you need to move away, not nearer. Then now the next one is screen and object. So screen and object, in order to make the smaller, you need to make it shorter. So it's away, you need to make it shorter. So it's nearer, right? So nearer. Oh. Correct. Now, screen and object again. Further or nearer? Well, here is nearer is correct means further must be wrong, right? That, okay. 
because we are talking about screen and object. Finally, torch and object. Again, torch and object should be away or nearer. Now, if you want to help yourself, for longer it must mean away. To make it longer, it must be away. This one must be nearer. Okay, so that's also a way to help yourself. So between light and object, it has to be away. But here they say, yeah, away, correct. So B and D is the right answer. That's C, okay? Study the following food web, and then you've got spiders, ladybirds, aphids. The use of insecticide in the field results in the death of the most aphids and caterpillars. Ta-da! Bye-bye. Okay, so gone. So what is the effect? What, which of the following options correctly shows the population size of slugs and ladybirds? So the question wants slugs and ladybirds. There you go, I have everything down already. Gone. And then what happens here? Question mark. What happens here? Question mark. Shall we just write it down? Plants eaten by aphids. Aphids will be eaten by ladybirds. Ladybirds have no more food. Oh no. Maybe even get extinct. Maybe, because they don't have any more food, because they were reduced. Here, aphids and caterpillars are not eating these plants anymore. The plants are going to be very happy. Abundant of plants, lots of plants. So slugs which eat the plants are very happy. They got lots and lots of food and they start growing in population. So up. So slug will increase. Ta-da, ta-da. And ladybirds will go down, ex decrease. Ta-da! Okay, can't be other rest, right? So answer is D. The diagram shows energy conversions and just find me examples for A, B, C and D. Okay, when electrical energy is converted to heat energy, it's like when you use your oven, when you use your iron. So you have oven and iron or not? Yes, oven, oven, because they use electrical energy to get heat. But turning a turbine is not, and rubbing a palm, where's the electricity? Here, turning a turbine is, you are just using kinetic energy. You haven't produced electricity yet, so you cannot start from electricity. This is start from electricity, so only these two are possible. For B, it should be kinetic energy giving you heat energy. Something must move and give you heat energy. Well, this is kinetic energy causing heat energy. Very good, rubbing of palms. Nothing to do with oven. Nothing to do with ceiling fan. Ceiling fan is what? Electrical energy to kinetic energy. Use the electricity to power the fan. The fan will move kinetic energy. So this one is electrical energy to kinetic energy. Which one is that? Electrical energy to kinetic energy is C. C should be using a ceiling fan. And last, kinetic energy will change and get electrical energy. That is turbine. When the turbine turns, you can generate electricity. So turning a turbine, turning a turbine, and that's it. So which answer has all four circles? B. Okay. You need to know how these function in order to know what are the energy conversions. Three identical magnets were placed. Then you see one went down, one went up. This was stayed the same because there's nothing here to attract or repel it. This one is attracting it. This one is repelling it. Remember, repel. Whenever repel, okay, Z is very important. So repelling is occurring here. So this must be a magnet. This is already a magnet because you see north and south. Give away that it's a magnet. But Y and Z, you don't know. So, but it must be a magnet because, because it's repelling. Only magnets can repel. How about Y? Y is a magnetic material or a magnet because they attract, it could be magnetic material or magnet, not necessarily only magnet. It could be just iron, steel, it's not a magnet, okay? So it will attract, so it could be magnetic material. Or a magnet, could be both. Could be either one, okay? Or. Right, now we answer the question, which one of them or statement is definitely, definitely correct. You must be very sure, okay? If you're unsure, then don't choose it. Object Y is a magnet. Are you sure? No, because it could be magnetic material as well, as we have written down here, object Y. 
Object Z is definitely a ma magnet, yes. And all magnets are made of magnetic material. So definitely, yes. Gravity acting on the magnet cannot overcome the force of repulsion between object Z and magnet. What does that mean? So long, right? Let me read slowly. Gravity acting on the magnet cannot overcome the force of repulsion between Z and magnet. So we're talking about Z and this magnet. Well, gravity is supposed to keep it in this way, but it's not enough to stop the repulsion. Repulsion here. The repulsion is so strong that you can just push it up. Gravity push down, repulsion push up. Which one's stronger? Repulsion. So repulsion stronger than gravity. So gravity cannot overcome repulsion. That's why this is correct. So B and C only. Okay, that's what you means for C. Okay, a very easy graph. You just need to read the data. Based on the graph, which of the following are definitely true? Again, exactly the same question. Uh, definitely, you got to be 100% sure it's true. If it's a guess, don't guess, okay? Population P will all die eventually after week 4. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. What's the number here? 5. If all die, it has to be 0. How do you know all will die? Will it go to 0 or will it go up? Don't know, right? It's a question mark. You don't know. You're not sure. So please do not choose A. Don't think it will just go down. Because what goes down doesn't mean it always goes down. Just like this. What goes up doesn't mean it always will go up. It may suddenly turn and come down. So this goes down doesn't mean it will go down. It may turn and go up. So you don't know what can happen after week 4. Don't say they will all die. Please, it's a guess. So you don't know. But the second one, highest number of P was recorded in week 2. Yes, because that's the highest number. What was it? Around 25. Yes. True. Very true. Definitely true. The population of P remained constant in the first week. Yes. Right? In the first week, this is the first week, is constant at 15. It didn't go up, didn't go down. Yes. Between week 1 and 3, that is here, population P increased more than it decreased. Well, between week 1 and 3, okay, Population P increased more than it decreased. Did it increase more or did it decrease more? Here, let's look at the number. Here is 10. So the drop is about 15. And then the increase from week 1, right? Week 1 is 15. It only went up by 10. So the increase is only 10. The decrease is 15. So between week and 1 and P, population P increase more or decrease more? It decrease more right because it go down by 15 whereas it only went up by 10 so decrease more is correct this is wrong so D is wrong is definitely not right so B and C are correct a paper clip tied to a load on the tabletop by a string Ta -da 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 -da. we've seen this also experiment right this is standard question then this one they are not going to Change the question, okay? They're going to make you exactly the same question that you have come across in your books, in your worksheets, in your experiment. You may have done this in the lab. You hang a string and then you put another material and see whether the magnetic strength is stopped by any material that is hung between those two, which is a Z here. So what could material Z be because the clip actually fell? Well, if material Z is a non-magnetic material, the clip will still stay there because magnetic force or strength is not affected by any of the non-magnetic material like paper or glass. It will still attract. However, when you bring in a material that is magnetic, then the force gets stopped because this guy takes over in the attraction. These two guys start attracting these guys. It says bye-bye to the paper clip because material Z is a magnetic material itself. So it will take the full force of the magnet. So that's what happens. You already know that. So which of the following could be material Z made of? So since it fell, another guy must have come and take over his place. So he must be magnetic material too. So it's only iron and steel which are magnetic material. What are the other two? Please do not forget, if you still remember, cobbler is now, no, is now singer. So these are the four magnetic materials okay so answer is a and b only 
Oh, we can go faster than that because these are all very easy. Which of the following characteristics does not help a bird fly quickly through the air? So you need to find out characteristics that help it to fly. Streamlined body, yes, help the movement. Hollow bones, because they are light, it can fly very well. Feathers are very important for flying. Sharp claws, dun. are they important for flying? No, so they are the only one out. Study the food web, again, easy one. D is a food producer, L is a food producer. Why? They only go have arrows out, no arrows in. So D and L are the only food producers. I'm sure you saw that very fast. See, we do give you some free marks in the papers too. Make sure you grab them with both hands, okay? Another one, again, should be very easy for you. Fair test, we already did this many times. What do you do? You change one variable. That's the test variable. You go and look for what she's going to test and keep the same for all other variables. So question is, which variable should keep the same? Oh, keep the same means all except that one variable. So go and find out which one variable should she change. Conduct an experiment to find out which liquid fuel X or Y produces more. So it's the type of fuel. So she's testing type of fuel that will affect what? Produces more heat. Which one will produce more heat? So her test is type of fuel. Do not change that. So I'm going to write that down. So type of fuel there, she cannot, she must change. The rest do not change, right? That's it. So A, B and D. Quick and easy. Well, this one is slightly a variation of what you may have seen. Whenever an object passes, and blocks a light, your reading on the brightness or lux or your data logger is zero. So we remember we've done many times. Whenever it's zero, something opaque is passing through it. So you count that as one opaque object, two opaque object. One, two, opaque object. But how about this half? These drop to half whenever there were translucent objects. So are they asking, because they have two types of products going through the belt. They tell, tell you that they are e either opaque or translucent. So this is where I got my clue from. Make sure you pick them out. So that's why the graph looks like that. So you have opaque two, I counted two, and translucent I counted four. All this in this 10 second period only, not the entire number that I have, I have a lot. But in 10 seconds, I can count four and two opaque items that went through the belt. Question, very easy, right? How many containers made of translucent materials could be counted in 10 seconds? Well, you already know the answer. It's four. Easy.